The Next Generation Incident Command System consists of a router and an app that helps first responders communicate with each other during their daily operations or when the network fails. The system can keep first responders connected in events where there is infrastructural damage such as during Hurricane Katrina or when the communication system is overloaded as often happens during parades. From the initial interviews, we wanted to learn about first responders' communication habits. We talked to 10 people from the three main branches of first response, police officers, paramedics, and firefighters. You get a lot of miscommunication as to what ramp or what highway you're actually on. So I think being able to mark uh, and drop your pin as to where you actually... We asked about their communication during day-to-day -day and large-scale emergency operations. Finally, we asked them to review the mobile application and the router and provide feedback. Again, it would have to be smaller. Uh, visually, there, there would have to be something here to indicate that it's, it's on. With the requests, uh, that should also be like the map, if you can layer that uh, so that the ambulance can see um, how many injuries there are and what kind of injuries. Initial usability testing was performed with non-professional participants using paper prototypes. From these tests, the team refined early designs and developed better usability experiments. The team developed medium fidelity prototypes for usability testing with first responders. A portion of the testing was done in Pittsburgh as part of a larger research effort to test the router's capabilities. The usability testing required the first responder to complete a task using two different designs. The designs tested were two forms of reviewing information sent in a request, two methods of adding a marker and information to the map. two ways of drawing a circle on the map, and two different interface designs to display the router vitals to the user. There was insufficient data gathered on the request review form to have significance, but from initial testing, first responders seemed to prefer the list design to the sentence design. Results showed that there is no significant difference between the two marker placement designs. The questionnaire revealed first responders thought the sensor radius method of drawing a circle was faster, but that the freehand method was both easier to use and easier to learn. Participants found it easier to identify the buttons with word labels. First responders preferred the LCD display when the router status was okay and when there was a system failure but did not have a preference with the other statuses. Participants were able to correctly identify the router status 94% of the time with the LCD display and 88% of the time with the icon indicators.